I'm the most excited about the markers, so let's start with those. The back says it lasts up to three days with proper care and very important, it can temporarily stain. So we're gonna test that out, but let's swatch the colors first. So the application is nice, feels like a normal marker. And you can draw with the pointy tip or on its side for a thicker line, which I like. The colors are pretty pigmenty, which I love, but let's try and quickly remove it with rubbing alcohol. Okay, so like the back said, it definitely does stain, so this tells me that I should not use these on my face and I should not use them before an important day. Also, maybe don't hand them to your children. Uh, I went back and used more alcohol to remove it and it still wouldn't come out. Although after this, I did take a shower and didn't pay much mind to it and by the time I got out, my arm was completely clean. Anyway, let's try and actually use these. This area is a little hard to draw on versus using a brush, but so far all the markers are working perfectly and they aren't dried out or irritating my skin at all, which I'm happy about. They blend together nicely and there's sort of a watercolor feel to them. They aren't bright, sort of muted. Uh, I'm also going to draw something messy over here on my neck, more so a drawing that a small child would do just to test these markers out. And they really do feel Crayola-ish. I also doodled this little doodle on my mom's arm. Okay, more with that later. Now let's look at the Rainbow Body Art Kit. This paint gets activated with water, which is typical for body paint, and in the back here there's a warning, so make sure you take that into consideration. I will only be painting with what the kit includes, and I won't be using any of my personal brushes or sponges. It does include this small white sponge, which is just one of those sponges you can get at CVS, and I'm not the biggest fan of it. Good for blending, but not for applying paint. Here is a swatch of all the colors included. Again, much like the markers, they are pigmented but muted with a watercolor paint sort of feel, which isn't a bad thing, but typically more legit body paint brands are way bolder and richer. Now, before I paint my face, let's test out these glitter gels. Okay, these are what they look like on my skin, and I'd say that these are a big miss. The yellow one is the best if I had to choose a favorite, but the others just really don't look pretty at all. Um, I'm going to wash this all off with soap and water, and as you can see, the paint did stain a little, but the body glitter gel came off easily and completely. Now I'm going to test this paint out on my face, reminding you again that I am not using any of my own sponges or brushes. Uh, my face painting style is very childlike and I like sort of a messy, imperfect vibe, so I'm gonna use this little rinky-dink brush the best I can. The brush is a flat, square brush and it's just super tiny, so it's very hard to use. Okay, so I have had the face paint and the body art markers on for quite a few hours now. Uh, I know everyone's skin is different, but it did not irritate my skin. I kind of forgot it was there. Feels like normal face paint, not itchy. Um, I don't feel like I want to take it off. It feels, it feels good. The markers don't feel like anything, which is great. So my final thought about the face paint kit is that I think it's perfect if you have an art-loving child or teen who maybe doesn't want to be a face painter, but just wants to have like one night of fun with their girlfriends, uh, there's definitely enough paint to to go for a, a couple people. Uh, you have enough stuff. It's like fun fun for one night. So for the price it is, I think I, I think that's a great deal. But I don't know that if you were going out for Halloween, you should get this kit. Uh, I think you should go to more of the big wig stuff. But for just a fun sleepover, I think this is a great kit. But just remember that it does stain like I showed you, but the back does warn you of that, so yeah. I think the markers I would definitely consider buying again if I needed them for a specific reason. And the last thing we have to try is the face and body paint glow in the dark. So we are gonna try that now. There's a warning on here and it says that it also may temporarily stain your skin. Also not to use it on your eyes or your lips. Definitely don't do that. And if this is anything like the body gel that I tried, which was not that good, I don't know, but let's see. And I'm gonna be generous with the paint. I really wanna see if this works because this could be cool. Okay, that's probably too much. And also it kind of looks like, oh, my least favorite condiment in the world, which is mayo. I hate mayo. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And yes, I know that's excessive, but could be cool for a rave if I went to them. Okay, let's hit the lights. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, looks like it worked. The bottle is also glowing a little bit, so good job Tulip for that. 
It is a little sticky, but if you used it with an actual uh, brush or you did a stencil art, I think it would be, be cool. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love if you like it and you'd also probably enjoy lots of other videos I have on my channel. I've got over hundreds about stickers, paint, anything crafty you might have in mind. You could find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest at MadCrafty and I'll see you next time. Bye.